a certain point, they gotta figure out that Matt is Daredevil, huh? Or assaulting a minor, that's lovely. Oh, Matt is, Matt, Matt, poker face. Put your poker face on, Matt. I'm concerned. But it's not because he can see, it's like, well, it, it, uh, but, uh, uh, okay. I don't know why I threw the tissue away. I'm pretending I'm not crying anymore. Oh my God, Matt, you sure you don't wanna just be a lawyer? Before we hop on into the show, let's have a word from today's sponsor, Me Undies. I don't know about you, but I do not feel like myself when I am uncomfortable. And working from home has only made this worse. It has drastically reduced my ability to wear any restrictive or stiff clothing. And that's why I love MeUndies. Not only is their micromodal fabric sustainably sourced from Beechwood, but it's also luxuriously soft. The fabric's breathability also makes it perfect for any occasion. So whether I'm hitting the gym, sleeping in bed, or just working at my desk, MeUndies has got me covered. Here's what MeUndies sent me. This bikini and ruched bralette set in See Do You Later. This thong and triangle bralette set in Pardon My Frenchies, which is this really cute dog print. This high waist cheeky and triangle bralette set in black and two adorable buddy bands for both Ridley and Coda. As you can see, MeUndies has a wide variety of cuts and they have an endless number of fabric styles to choose from. What I love most though is their problem-free philosophy. If you're not satisfied with any products for any reason, MeUndies will refund or exchange it, no questions asked. To try out MeUndies for yourself, just click the link in my description and use code NATALIEGOLD for up to 20% off of your first order. Thank you so much again to MeUndies for sponsoring this video and thank you guys as always for listening to the sponsor. Sponsors definitely help keep the channel going and help me afford fancy new things like this microphone. <laughs> Bet you didn't know that was there. So I really appreciate it. And now let's get back on into the video. Oh, are we in the hospital? <gasps> Don't you know who I am? It doesn't matter. Fill out the paperwork. We'll update you on her condition as soon as we know anything. Wow, what a boss nurse look at her that man just tried to intimidate the hell out of her like don't you know who i am let me in the room and she was like it doesn't matter stay out we have rules good job ma'am marriage certificate for his mother marlene how does that help because it's not to his father it's for when she remarried which was two years after all the reports say she died she's still alive yeah Two years after the reports say she died, she got she got a marriage license in the same name? Matt, what she said about Fisk. He killed his father. Yeah, I just don't know who would believe it with the state that she's in. Well, I'm not hearing you and Foggy come up with anything better. True. It's because they're going through a breakup. So Matt's just wallowing in sadness and self-pity. You got somewhere to be? <sighs> no! Ew! Lock the door behind you when you leave. Foggy. What the hell, man? Oh God, he's falling apart. Fisk. It's weird because he must be a mess, but he looks like he kind of has a smirk on his face. I think it's just like, if he doesn't like contain it, he'll blow up. Wow, it's like the secret service is here. This is crazy. You think whoever did this was trying to take little Miss Hairdo out of the equation? Right, they were trying to take Fisk out, yeah. Did oh. Gal give any indication she was still unhappy when you spoke with her? She never gives an indication. Reach out to Gal. Me? What if she's the one who did all this? You said you didn't think it was her. The hell do I know? <laughs> Leland is scared. And if she was involved, then it's been an honor doing business with you. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Wesley. Can't you speak to Gal? I know that Fisk like needs you here right now, but ugh. This is why I would've just gotten out. Claire! I really should get some kind of body armor, like I told you. Yeah. Well, I, I bet he will, like, in the last episode. He'll get, like, a badass new costume for the last episode. You cut him? No. He was wearing some kind of armor in the lining. Oh, that's why anybody who's ever sliced him has never gotten through. Taking some time off. Get out of the city for a while. Thank you. I'll always be there. Except while she's on her trip. When you really need me. Except while she's on her vacation. You should tell him how long you're going to be out of town for. <laughs> you're not always going to be here, Claire. Where are you going? You think someone's trying to kill Fisk? I've been writing about crime in the city since before you were born. The only thing I know without a doubt is you don't get to be the man at the top without making enemies looking to tear you down to the ground. Ooh, 
What an interesting choice to have Wesley enter at that moment. Because Wesley's like the one person I'm like, oh, isn't trying to tear Fisk down. He's only trying to lift him up and cares a lot about him. Until we know for certain, I suspect everyone. Yeah, that's fair. If Vanessa dies, I think Fisk will just go crazy. He'll just be so violent. I want to look in their eyes when I salt the earth with their blood. When I salt the earth with their blood. Damn. That is f poetic. I told her the safest place she could have. Poetic rage. No, this wasn't you. Well, she's lying in there because she was by my side. Well, yeah, I saw that coming, to be fair. When you said that, I was like, that's kind of bullshit, but. If she recovers, I want her sent away. Sent away. Somewhere far from me. In the city. Uh, what, uh, what about her life and her job? You don't get to f make her move away. Wait a minute, what the f Let her live in Elle's kitchen if that's where she wants to live. What the f I... Thank you. Oh, I feel like he was gonna say something else there. It's like the one friend Fisk has. It's really his assistant, which is kind of weird, like he's on your payroll, but you can tell Wesley really does care for him. She's an induced coma. She's gonna pull through. Oh my God, we just have to get her to survive. We just have to get her to wake up from the coma. Wesley looks so relieved. I wonder who did the poisoning. Maybe it wasn't Gao. I don't, I have questions. Is he pulling out his outfit? He's not fully healed yet though. What's he doing? Oh, it's this guy. This guy, we haven't seen him in a while. Are you gonna slide across the wire? Nope. Oh, I didn't say get up. Oh, man, I guess we're playing Simon Says. What I look like? Public damn library. Ow. Yep, that earned you another punch. He doesn't like sass. He doesn't like it. Fisk wears some kind of body armor. Where's he get him? Oh. I think I might know a guy. Give me the name. Oh my God. And then cutting to his phone ringing. That's crazy. With the man looking devastated. Who's calling him? My mother called him. Oh, that was his mother. That was his mother. Did you speak with Gal? She said she was deeply saddened and quoted a fortune cookie or some mystical Quoted a fortune cookie? Oh my God. Hello, Marlene? Oh, he's calling his mother. Yeah. Is she gonna tell Wesley about the two people that came up to see her and talk to her? She remembers. Wait, I'm sorry. Who came to visit you? She remembers, that's great. She remembers, we love that for her. Look at her, she's still with it. <laughs> oh, yay, great. Okay, well, Ben and Karen, you're f This is a guy that makes armor, we're in his shop. How do you even get him to make you anything? Is he just gonna like steal it from him? Uh, what, is he, what are you gonna do? Yoo-hoo, he's a yoo-hoo kind of man. I like yoo-hoo too. You shouldn't be here. Why? Well, yeah, but why? <laughs> This is so bad, Matt. Aren't you just healing right now? You shouldn't be here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That When he just repeats that line, it's extra spooky. Yeah, what if he asks for you? Yeah. Tell him I won't be long. Uh-oh. Is he gonna go threaten Karen and Ben? I'm really scared. Oh no. I mean, if there was anybody that Karen and Ben could take, it would be Wesley, so maybe that's a good thing. It wasn't very nice. Why are your things just, are you, you seem like you could be a nice man. Like, can we just maybe stop fighting? You seem nice enough, all things considered. Wow, that was talented, damn. God, he's gotta have popped a stitch. Hopefully he's healed, I don't know, maybe he is. Really? Mr. Fisk's gonna be mad. He's gonna hurt her. Hurt her? Melvin. That's your name, isn't it? Melvin Potter. Melvin Potter is such a nice, sweet little name for... I, I would have assumed... Betsy. Betsy, is that the woman you love? Melvin Potter sounds like a name out of the Harry Potter world, or like, it sounds like an old man kind of name, you know? Fisk has hurt people that I care about, too. Oh. Look at this, we're having a heart-to-heart -heart with somebody that works for Fisk because he doesn't want to work for Fisk. This is sweet. You want, you want a suit? Like, like Mr. Fisk? Uh, yeah, but a different kind of suit. And if you do this for me, I promise to get Fisk out of your life. Well, that is a big promise. That is a big promise. You want me to make? A devil, huh? I've already seen photos. I think it's like a red devil suit, right? 
Because, like, when I looked up photos for, like, my thumbnail to, like, put as the cover, I think that one came up. So it's probably gonna be, like, a red devil suit, huh? Oh, God, is this Wesley calling him? I'm nervous. Oh, no, it's Karen. Okay, I'm worried about Karen. You're not like everybody else. You know that, right? We all do what we can. I'm nervous one of them is about to die. Like, because Wesley just left with a gun. I'm scared. Just thank you for for being there for... And we're having like this heartfelt moment too, so I'm nervous. Talk tomorrow? Yeah. I don't know. I think one of you's about to die now. You just said talk tomorrow. Something is gonna happen, man. Karen. Karen, are you gonna die, girl? I'm scared. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bye, Karen. <laughs> you got in too deep, girl. You're in over your head. An offer was made through a third party in exchange for a reasonable amount of money. Well, reasonable to you. Ha, ah, wow. We gotta throw in that dig there, like, well, reasonable to you. I'm rich, so. You were supposed to go away, Miss Page. Fade back into wherever people like you fade, but you made a choice. People like you. I wanna punch Wesley in the face again. Frankly, I was surprised she remembered you. I know, it's really unfortunate that she did. I thought her memory was worse, too. And the man you were with, Mr. Yurik, I'm guessing. Yep, you got him in trouble, Karen. You got him in trouble. You could have just told Ben. If you're going to kill me, just do it. I'm sick of listening to your bull <laughs> I guess he's not gonna kill you, because he's got something to say. I'm not here to kill you, Miss Page. I'm huh? here to offer you a job. What? What? A job? <laughs> what? You're going to convince Mr. Yurik. To stop. That everything is fine. And if you don't, they'll kill you? Listen, I don't think she can do that. I'd rather die first. But you won't. She, yeah, he's probably gonna kill Ben instead. Yeah, he'll probably let you live. Yeah, that's how you do it. Then we'll go to your place of employment, see to Mr. Nelson, Mr. Murdoch. Yeah, he'll kill everybody else before you. When you have no tears left to shed, then, then we'll come for you, Miss Page. Yeah, I mean. Wow! Does she even have it in her? I don't think she does. But like, damn, she grabbed the gun. And Wesley's not gonna pick up. He can't pick up, he can't pick up. Karen, what are you gonna do? Do you really think I would put a loaded gun on the table where you could reach it? Oh, that's actually smart. I don't know. Oh, oh. Do you really think this is the first time I've shot someone? This page. <laughs> what? I'm sorry for blowing your guys' ears out. Karen! Karen! <sighs> Karen, don't pick up. Do not pick up the phone. Take the gun with you. Yeah, wipe your prints. Wipe them. Is this where the episode's gonna end? Oh my God, I did not see that coming. That is absolutely amazing. <laughs> wow! Holy shit, she did it. She did it. Oh, what's she gonna do with the gun? She's just throwing it in the river? I hope that sinks and it does, isn't found again. Poor Karen. Are we gonna get a backstory on her? No, oh, this is, oh, she's older, okay. I thought it'd be cool if we could get a backstory on her because she said this isn't the first time I've shot someone. Now I'm curious. Oh, we're gonna drink right now? Now, okay, you know what, I guess, I guess there's no better time. <gasps> Somebody there, I'm scared. Why am I so scared? This, this just feels like a horror. What? Oh my God, the way they edited this and filmed it is terrifying. Karen, you need to change your name and you need to get a fake identity. Oh, we're just getting more booze. <laughs> No, no way. He's been here this whole time. Oh, he's gonna kill you, Karen. It gets easier. So, right before he kills her. <laughs> oh, oh, it was a nightmare. Oh, she's dreaming about Fisk coming. Oh, what a cool way to start the episode. Did Wesley tell nobody? So like, the thing is like, it's really just up to like Marlena or whatever Wilson's mother's name is. Like if she remembers and tells Wilson about 
the encounter with Karen, then Karen's But if if she doesn't remember, then it kind of could die with Wesley. I don't know how else they'd trace it to her. It's because he took something into his own hands. He should have he should have told Wilson. Oh boy. Oh my God. I can't wait. I am so eager for Wilson to discover what happened to Wesley. And he relies on him so much. Oh, <gasps> she's waking. You, you, you almost died, Vanessa, because of me, because of who I am. I made arrangements. Oh, he's telling her about the arrangements now. Like, don't you think she'd be pissed or stressed or annoyed about these? Out of the country? Out of the country. We can't just let her move out of Manhattan. She's got to leave America. She has no choice in this. Like, dude, f off, man. I need to keep you safe. You can't force her to leave America. That's f***ed up. I was being selfish, believing that I could have this, that there would be no consequences. I can't believe we're having this conversation two minutes after she's woken up and hasn't had a sip of water. I made that choice. What I still make. Yeah, just no more champagne at events. <laughs> Sorry, sir. What is it? They've located him. Wesley. And where is he? He got Vanessa back just as they located Wesley. He got her back, but then Wesley got taken out. What they did to him. What happened? He got a call last night at the hospital. From his mother. We gotta look at his phone. They're gonna look at his phone. You let him leave. You gotta look at his phone. Alone. Yeah, Francis did, but okay, don't punish Francis for this. He was taking orders. He wanted as many men on you as possible. That's true. Don't blame Francis. Don't hurt him. Whoa! Well, sir. Come on. He's my friend! Hey, maybe this isn't the best time to be beating your men to death. Yeah, Leland, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Francis was just following orders. I know you're pissed. Don't take it out on him. Oh, God. Oh God, poor dude, poor Francis. Just remember, wind blows hardest, the closer you get to the mountaintop. Wow, that was like the first nice thing Leland has ever said. I like like Leland though. I like that he's just kind of always curmudgeon and annoyed and sassy. Oh, oh wow, oh he just, I feel bad in a way for Wilson. Like it was his only friend. They really like did love each other, but like Wesley was such a prick. <laughs> They're gonna have to look at the bullet holes and notice that it was, oh, he's gonna see that his mother called. Yeah, Estane, yeah. He's gonna have to call his mom. Oh my God, I pray that his mother has forgotten everything. I pray. Because if she remembers anything, Ben is Oh my God, Ben. Ben. Oh, it's Matt. Okay, that's fine. The Chinese, who's the man at the top? It's not a man. He isn't one, it's a woman. Oh, he knows it's a woman, okay. The Russian that Blake shot in interrogation. There was a Chinese man in the back of his cab in an alley. Blind carried a backpack. That makes sense. Nobody look at a blind man twice. Mm. <laughs> Watch your back, Ben. Yeah, I'm worried about Ben. I'm really worried about Ben and Karen. Oh boy. Oh Marcy, hi. I could I could give less of a f about you. <laughs> I need your help. My help. Oh boy. I can't believe she's like into a guy like Foggy. Is it just because he's nice? She's like, ooh, spicy. It's different. I'm a b targeted by who? Wilson. Okay, I gotta go. Wait. Uh. Oh God, wait. Uh, you trust her? You? We trust her? Foggy. Foggy! I don't trust her. I think this is a bad idea. They're gonna get what's coming to them. And they're gonna be some hard questions about how much Landman and Zach knew and when they knew it. Mm. This is your chance to get out in front of that. And take your soul back. I don't know. I don't know. I'm nervous that we just showed her all that, to be honest. I'm nervous. He hears a blind person. We're just like, we're just gonna follow a blind person and hope that they work for Gao. <laughs> they just got in a car. He throws away the cane. Oh my God, what are you gonna do? Leap across the buildings? Really? Okay, oh wow. Was that twist necessary? It was cool, but like, <laughs> seemed like a little bit of an extra flourish. Oh, like that too, yeah. <laughs> The stunt guy just wanted to show off. We get it, you're talented. <laughs> He's just chasing a classical song. Better hope they don't get on the highway, Matt. But it's okay, we, we probably won't leave Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Jesus, we're just like sensing where the buildings are with your super sensory talents. Good thing they were blasting classical music. Could you imagine if they stopped it? 
Oh, and the song ends. Nice. Oh, yes, James. Such a handsome boy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please don't remember, ma'am. Please don't remember. He called you the other night. He did? Please don't remember, girl. Please don't remember. Do you remember what you talked about? Uh-oh. Mother. Such a beautiful day, isn't it? Ha-ha! <laughs> yes. Wow. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. I heard my son play Brahms today. Wow, wonderful. Great. I'm so happy for you. Read the story you handed me? The exact opposite. Well, you know, life is a roller coaster. Run the article. It'll sell papers. It's sexy. You sound like a whore. Yeah. Well, I learned how to be one from you. Oh, that's it. That's a bit much, Ben. You crossed a line. Oh, they're all listening. This is bad. Wilson Fisk is spending millions of dollars trying to save this city. Yeah. Maybe you should drop the Woodward and Bernstein and try writing a story about that. Yeah, the paper's bought, Ben. You know what? Forget about the suspension. Clear out your office. Wow, really? Just like that? Really? You couldn't give him the suspension as a warning? You just fire him just like that? That's not cool, dude. Oh, God. This woman is, like, so... I feel all warm and fuzzy whenever I see her. She just looks all cute and sweet and motherly, but she's running this crazy operation, and she's just so sinister. Also, what... Like, why do we have to blind all these people? This is crazy. How are they making sure they're packaging everything with appropriate weights if they can't read the scales? I'm assuming it's just so that they can't, like, rat them out to the cops. They won't know where they are. They don't know anything really but i just don't know how they're bagging stuff properly unless it's somebody else doing it he's doing the thing again he's doing the ninja thing again where he yanks people and none of them heard it none of them are reacting and he's just gonna emerge slowly this is crazy oh Matt, 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 you just stood there and let yourself get caught, man. Matt was such a dummy. He just got caught like it was nothing. Oh, wait, he he got out of the situation. How did he get out of the situation? OK, wait a minute. I have a problem with that. I have an issue with that. I I feel like he was completely covered and mobbed by all these people. Like we needed to see how he got out of that. I don't like that. I feel like that's cheating. You took their eyes. No. They blinded themselves. What? Because they have faith in something beyond the distractions of your world. Man, this lady is so intimidating. You're gonna tell me about Fisk. <laughs> oh, she's, she's strong too. What the hell? She's gone. What the hell? This lady can do everything. Oh, he's setting off the sprinklers. Smart man. Get these people out of here. Oh, good job. Nice. Well, good job, Matt. I'm glad we didn't let them all die. Ooh, Leland and Gow are meeting. You're late. Apologies. I was detained by unfortunate events. Should I be sus of Leland? I don't know. I've, I'm like... Do what you want. If he finds out what we did... Ah, uh, they were working together. Well, we knew the risk and the reward if his woman were to be removed as a distraction. Oh, it was all to get... It was all to kill Vanessa? The woman is stronger than assumed. Yeah, she's a real mule. Oh my God, you guys are psychotic. Where the hell are you going? I will visit my homeland. Really? Home, China? It is a considerable distance farther. What? A considerable distance, ma'am, what? China is far. Allison thinks it's a pile of You straighten him out. He let me go. Yeah. Good. Uh, you never needed that man. Look at her. Look at her. I love when I love it when she's you know clear and present. It's like awesome getting to see their dynamic together and their history relationship. Thinking I might start a blog. Yeah, that's all you kids read these days. I'm gonna write about all of it. Oh God, I'm worried. I'm worried about Ben. I'm scared. I'm scared. So many people have been dying. We'll go from there. Okay. Call you in the morning. No, no. The last time you said call you tomorrow, something bad happened to one of you. What if something bad happens to Ben? Oh, oh God, Ben. Oh God, I'm so worried, Ben. Oh God, Ben. Maybe, maybe, maybe I don't need, have to be scared. Maybe it's fine. I just, I, I just am so scared. Uh-oh. No. Oh my God. I've made mistakes in the years since I was a boy. Oh no. Oh, he was here. He knew. He figured it out. Did El Did Ellison tell him? Or what's his name? 
I'd like to have a conversation with you, off the record, of course. <laughs> I can't believe he didn't even notice that Wilson was sitting here. He's such a large man. You're a man of principle, of conviction. I understand that. I even admire it. But you went after my mother. Oh, he's gonna kill him. That's not something that I can forgive. He didn't mean to do it, actually. He was brought into it, but he's not gonna give Karen up. You know how many times people have threatened me? I think he means it. I don't think he's threatening you. But that is my mother. So I am not here to threaten you. Right. I'm here to kill you. We have to kill him like this? We have to kill him like this? Really? Ben deserves better than this, man. Ben, he deserves better than that. You couldn't have shot him, Wilson? Oh my God, Wilson. You're awful, man. You are awful. You are that awful little kid that killed your father. You are evil. I don't give a f what Vanessa thinks. You're evil. And that photo of, oh yeah. His wife, his poor wife. I can't, oh, Karen has got to live with that. That's gonna f her up, man. That's so sad. I honestly felt like somebody on like the good guy side had to die because we'd lost a lot of people on the bad guy side and Wesley was kind of an important one. So I was kind of expecting something to happen and it made sense that it would be Ben. I just, I just wish we could have shot him. Oh no. Are we starting with Ben's funeral? I thought we were gonna get to see like the discovery, like Karen discovering he died. Are we not? We're just gonna kick off with his funeral. Is there gonna be an investigation or no? Because the police force is corrupt. Damn, I was really hoping for like a discovery of Karen, like from Karen. Oh no, she's all alone. I'm so, uh, I feel so bad for her. F you. Where's Foggy? Is Foggy not here? Karen Page, I don't know if Ben ever. Um... Karen, yes, he talked um, about you all the time. Does she remember? Oh my God, her memory is with it today. She's. Where you wouldn't let go until you got to the truth. He admired that. Oh God, yeah, she wouldn't let go and that's what got Ben killed. I think it's my fault. I pushed him into a story that he didn't ben want. Ben Urich never got pushed into doing anything he didn't want to do. Oh, she's so sweet. She's a sweet lady. And he passed to do it what he loved. Oh my God, oh my God, um, it kind of, yeah. Oh, uh, I don't have tissues, guys, I f***ed up. He always took care of me. <laughs> Oh God, oh God, oh God, ugh. I really should have brought tissues. <laughs> I'm f Because I haven't stopped what's happening in this city. Can't put that on yourself, Matthew. Wow, yeah. It's not all about you. This is actually Karen's f up. <laughs> I mean, not really, it's Fisk. It's just Fisk being a d Everyone's been paid off, everyone's on board. I wonder if he already doesn't trust Leland. I wonder if he's already suspicious of it because of the numbers. I think he might be. Leland, I'd be scared if I were you. I asked Wesley to transfer funds for me the night before we found him. Mm. I thought financials was my job. Yes, that's why I wanted you to have a look at these. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's suspicious. Something is going on. Ooh, the lighting is so spooky. It's a shell game to keep the SEC off our backs. Nothing. Oh, something's going on. He's shaking. <gasps> His poker face is slipping. Why are you sweating, Leland? Oh, my God. I have no idea what happened to Wesley. I wasn't a part of that. But you had something to do with the benefit, didn't you? Oh boy, you're gonna die, Leland, you're gonna die. The poisonings at the benefit were just to make it look like someone was trying to get at you. Oh, he's gonna kill you anyway, because you hurt Vanessa. <sighs> Vanessa, do you blame us? You're about to die, Leland. You're about to die. We will be parting ways. Leland, I... And I'll be taking half your assets with me. I'm a little bit scared for you right now, bro. After what you've done! That's exactly what you're gonna do. Why? Why are you so confident? Because I have Detective Hoffman. I scooped him up, squirreled him away for a rainy day. Hoffman gets dropped off to the feds. Oh. Tells him all the shit he's been up to. Leland, that's why you're so confident, hey. Okay, I'm glad somebody finally was able to stand up to him. I've spent my entire life Hiding assets overseas for pricks like you. Yeah, Leland is good at covering his tracks. Usually financial guys are. I feel like he's still gonna kill him, which isn't smart, but let's see. We on the same page? I don't think so. He's gonna kill you. I don't think we are. <laughs> is the taser gonna do anything? You hurt Vanessa! <laughs> Leland. Oh, he's dead. Holy f 
I had a feeling all was not going to be well when that music was so intense and suspenseful and scary. Oh, this guy. Find Hoffman and put a bullet in his head. Honestly, if they were smart, they would have gotten Hoffman out of the city. Like, completely out of the city. <laughs> Foggy's here. How do I stop him? By using the law, Matt. Like you told me and Karen to do. That's how we take him down. Thought Nelson and Murdoch were over. There's nothing I want more than to find a way back to where we were, but... This is such a... This is like a couple that's broken up that still loves each other. <laughs> this is the part where law meets reality. Either I put on a mask or we risk losing Hoffman and Fisk wins. Is he gonna go get his suit? When is he gonna get the suit? Thank you. Uh-oh. Send the closest team. They, they figured it out too. Oh, great. Wonderful. Oh, Matt. Oh, Matt. Oh, Matt. You gotta get Hoffman out of there alive. Are they not killing Hoffman? I love how they're killing everybody but him first. Oh, he has his eyes closed. That's interesting. And it's, it's Matt. He got here in time. Yeah! Wow, amazing. I like that choice to just have him, like a close up on him with his eyes closed and just hearing what's going on. I like that. All right, guys, we gotta get the f out of here. Let's not sit down, Matt. There's no time, <laughs> please. By turning evidence on Fisk, you can set things right, if that's what you want. If not, you can sit here playing with yourself until Fisk sends more men to kill you. I would like to do the first thing you said. I need to make a statement. Yeah. Oh, but now Brett. Brett was like, I want to cash in my pension. I want to get the f out of here. And now Brett has to do this and get involved. Start from the beginning. Names, dates. I want it all. My partner and I will. Karen is, Karen is so pleased. Look at her face. Oh, it's that guy. The guy from like the first episode. Wow, the FBI is doing sh They're actually doing sh I'm like surprised it's actually getting done this fast, you know? Oh, this guy too? This guy too? Oh wait, no, it wasn't him. It was somebody else at their office. It was her. Oh, because, wow, it was her. And that's when he's gonna realize she got his friend Ben killed. Wow. Yeah, but this whole time it was like, we were all kind of sus of this guy, but it was actually her. Okay, that's great. Wow, so much got accomplished. Make the arrangements. Uh-oh, what's, ha what's gonna happen now? I need you to do something for me. What? What does she have to do for him? They're coming. They're coming. Do you understand everything I've told you. Oh, come on. I don't have a lot of time. He's proposing. Are you serious? He's proposing. You, write to an attorney. you are my heart. You're everything. Wow. I'm surprised that not a single agent is staying there to, to interview her. Or talk to her or to even take her down to the station and question her they're just like oh no you can stay we trust you i mean it's more like cinematic to leave her there standing alone all dressed in white like how she's been dressed for the whole series but doesn't make sense see this right right here in this office this is what's important knowing that the people i care about are safe they're not gonna be safe for long there's two more seasons. I mean, how much of this episode is left? Oh, oh, we got 20 minutes. Oh, some is gonna go down. But then came a man from Samaria, Samaritan, a good man. This man, Daredevil? <laughs> he did this simply because the, the traveler was his neighbor. Yeah, you're comparing yourself to the Samaritan, huh? Get off your fucking high horse. I always thought that I was the Samaritan in that story. Oh, are you realizing you're not? That I'm like the priest or the Levite. That I am the ill intent. I was gonna say, you're not the traveler, you are the ill intent. I'm the traveler on a road that he should not have been on. Yeah. Wow. Oh, is is it whatever Vanessa did? Is something happening? Is something happening? What's happening? It's whatever Vanessa did. Oh my god. He really timed that speech out perfectly for shit to go down. That's insane. He has people in the FBI working for him. Or is it the NYPD? Oh, I I'm so confused. Maybe the NYPD is following and they're the ones that are getting involved. Okay, it's it's these guys in black that are- There's now to be some sort of firefight involved. Oh no. What is Karen gonna do? Idiots, weren't we? 
You really weren't idiots. Um, it did look that easy, to be honest. I know I haven't earned it, not yet anyway, but I'm asking you to trust me, Foggy. He's gonna go get involved. Is he gonna get the suit? Just don't get killed doing it, okay? We had it. Nice cut. Oh boy. I swear to God, I'll put a bullet in this fat son of a You should just put a- Oh my God. Get out of here, sir. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's got this many people in the federal government. Who did Vanessa call? Who was she calling? How do you do something like this on the news and then like face no repercussions for it? Like all these federal agents have just been killed. Like how do you actually have this much sway and power? If anyone tries to follow on the ground or in the air, take them out. Okay, be careful, Matt. Oh, this guy, yeah, we're gonna pick up the suit? Great. I haven't had enough time to get all of it through the process. Oh. Oh, it's not ready yet. He's going to take it anyway. It's not completely done. I know this has been a difficult chapter in our lives. We'll be together. That's all that matters. Vanessa, I I am shocked. I'm not going to let them take you away from me, Wilson. Oh, she's waiting at, by the helicopter. That's just an inconvenience. Just an inconvenience. Nothing will ever keep us apart. Except for maybe Daredevil. Although I can't imagine Matt's going to kill him. But the only way you stop him is if you kill him. So what is Matt going to do? Is he going to break his rule? Matt? Yeah, there you are. Holy <laughs> Oh my God, I am so ready. Yes. Yep. Yep. You were right. What you told me over the radio that night. Not everyone deserves a happy ending. Yeah. You. Oh my God, Matt. You got, yeah, you got to take out that one annoying asshole first. I'm surprised there's only one guy in this truck. Well, there was the driver too, if he's not knocked unconscious. He still has sticks, but they're just metal sticks now. And I love the little horns. Like, did we tell the guy making the costume to make horns? That's hilarious. Take your shot. Oh, oh. Come on, Matt, please demolish his ass. Come on, Matt. Come on, this is the best chance you're gonna have, Matt. Come on, don't let him get a shot in. Wow, amazing stunt work, amazing. Oh my God, Matt, I'm scared. He's got you. If you let Wilson get a hold of you, it's really just terrifying. He's huge. Matt, please, Matt. Oh my God, Matt, 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 Matt. Oh, he's in boxing mode now. Matt's definitely more agile and Wilson is just pure, unadulterated rage. Ooh, I heard the squish. I heard the squishy sound effect. Please, no breaking of arms. I'm, I don't wanna, oh wow, those things connect? Hell yeah. Matt! Oh no, oh no, no. No, no. He's gonna kill you, Matt. Move! This city doesn't deserve a better tomorrow. It deserves people like my father, people like you. You are, wow, look at you. You're such scum. What does Vanessa see in you? Like, actually, Vanessa's... I can't believe Vanessa just loves you despite all this My family. She's clearly not a good person either. Yeah, tell him, Matt. You actually care about this city. Personally, I don't care that much. I would just move. But, you know, you do what matters to you. Oh, I just remembered, like... We probably can't kill him because he's alive in the Hawkeye series and he dies there. Okay, it's Brett, right? Thank God it's Brett. Oh, Vanessa's waiting. Yeah, he hasn't shown up. Mm-hmm. Oh, the ring. What's she going to do with the ring? She's putting it on. Oh. Vanessa, honestly, I think you're a little crazy. <laughs> I think she cuckoo. <laughs> this is a serious upgrade. I don't know. I think the horns are a bit much. <laughs> they are. They are. <laughs> but I like it. I promised Marcy I'd help her find a new job since most of the partners at Lambin and Zach are under indictment. Oh. Well, it's really, I'm glad that Karen and Foggy never got together or this would be awkward. Now all we need are clients. One day at a time, partner. One day at a time. Yeah, how are you guys paying your bills, for real? It's like I told Foggy, all we can do is move forward. Together. Is she gonna be okay in the next series? I worry. Why do I feel like she's gonna die or something? I'm scared, it's fine, I need to calm down. I genuinely just feel like she's gonna be killed. Like eventually, the Fisk is gonna find out it was her and 
gonna send somebody to kill her or something. I don't know, I'm just scared. Wow. I was a bit unsure of what was gonna happen in the end of this season because I kind of saw it going one of two different ways. I figured, you know, either we're gonna put Fisk away and he's gonna be taken care of as the villain from this season and maybe he'll come back around later, but for the most part, we'll have gotten rid of him, we'll have put him away and we'll move on to another villain in season two or Fisk will be the main villain throughout this entire series and it looks like we did the former so I'm assuming we're going to have a different villain in season two. I'm not quite sure. It's kind of exciting for me, the possibilities of season two, just because I do remember hearing that this actor who plays Wilson Fisk was in the series Daredevil, because when I saw Hawkeye, he was in that. And I guess that really should have made me realize that like he wasn't going to die at all in this season or in this show, just because he presumably dies in Hawkeye. I mean, I don't think we necessarily see him die. Maybe he doesn't, but he's in Hawkeye. So I, I guess I should have just assumed that he would have been fine in this show. But I am surprised still to a certain extent that we did get him put in jail. I also am kind of shocked that there were all of these people posed as federal agents or are federal agents and just plants working for Fisk. That kind of surprised me. I guess his plan was just to get out of the country after that and just try to flee. Yeah, when that many people see something like that happen on the news, I don't think you can just sweep it under the rug anymore. Like, I think you gotta go to jail forever. So we'll see if he ever gets out. We'll see if he comes back around in other seasons. Definitely a violent, violent character. And I think... The way this whole first season went was really interesting. I really enjoy character backstory and character development. So I really enjoyed getting to see so much of what makes up Matt Murdock and his childhood and his relationship with his father and what his driving purpose is compared with Fisk and the same thing and his whole backstory and relationship with his dad and the violence that's in both of them and all of the parallels that really do exist between the two characters, but also the subtle ways in which they're different. They really do have a lot in common. And you know, the first, I would say few episodes, I really empathized a lot with Fisk. It wasn't until the end where I really just lost all empathy for him because to me, I just saw more and more of a child who was just throwing a, a violent temper tantrum, <laughs> if I'm being honest, by the end, you know, as he was really letting his walls down and unraveling a bit more and losing control, that violent child was coming out more and more and his false pretenses and acting at like he cares about making the city a better place was finally falling down and he's realizing actually he just wants to be violent and um, abuse people. That is his nature, which is surprising to me that Vanessa still seems so like in love and invested in him just because it seems like she doesn't believe that that's who he is, but I feel like that is who he is. So I, I don't know. I'm kind of confused that she still wants to be with him and still loves him. But I guess you just can't help who you love. So maybe it's not that deep. I shouldn't really think about it too much because there are plenty of people who get in toxic relationships. She also could just not be that good of a person. <laughs> love is complicated. <laughs> the last few episodes of the season, especially with all these people dying and all these crazy things happening, were really captivating. I really especially enjoyed getting to see this darker side of Karen where she murders this really annoying and powerful character, Wesley. And it really is such a point of despair that really contributes to Fisk's unraveling even more. The chain of events that unfolded in these last few episodes was very interesting to me. I felt like we got more um, interesting action events in the last few episodes. I feel like a lot of this series kind of felt like a detective piece, not stylistically, but just in the amount of expositional scenes that we had and the amount of scenes that we had that were just pure dialogue where we're like talking about each, you know, each side is talking about the other side and then we'd flip it and see what they're saying about them and what they're saying about them. And it was just, it was just a lot of dialogue. So I appreciated these last few episodes having more meat to them in terms of high stakes, dramatic and intense things actually happening. I've said it from the start and I'll, I'll say it again. Um, I think the symbolism in this 
series is amazing. You know, you can tell that the source material from Stan Lee was really rich. There's a lot of awesome symbolism and metaphors. Sometimes it's really subtle. Sometimes it's more um, overt, but it's it's really well done and I really like it. I think the lighting is just gorgeous. The color grading is always beautiful as well and kind of varies a bit from shot to shot and scene to scene, but not in a noticeable way like not in a bad way just subtly different and I really like that the writing um, and the ways in which they cut from scene to scene can sometimes be really suspenseful and I enjoy that a lot I think you know the first half of this season there are characters like Foggy who I really didn't love if I'm being totally honest I just feel like he was kind of grating to me and a little bit on the nose as like this dorky like you know unknowing unknowing character unassuming kind of comedic relief guy but I never really found his jokes funny and then Marcy as this like over the top kind of character so I'm really excited that you know now by the time we finished this season there are a lot more colors to them we've seen a completely different side of Foggy where he's much more grounded much more um, dark in his whole breakup scene with Matt. We've seen this side of Marcy where she does let her walls come down a bit and actually does the right thing. But we definitely got a lot of colors from Karen and Foggy that made me like them more by the end of this season. We always had that with Matt. Matt was always a really well-rounded character, as was Wilson Fisk. I feel like they were probably the strongest characters to me, followed by Ben and his relationship with his wife, which just, uh, th that actress was fantastic. I loved her performance. She just brought me to tears every time I saw her. She she did a great job. Uh, I'd love to see Rosario Dawson again. Um, yeah, there are just a lot of great actors in this show and it definitely took a very interesting turn in the end and I'm excited to see where it goes from here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely make sure to give this one a thumbs up so that I know and I can watch more stuff like this in the future. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to check out next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.